For this crochet wig tutorial, I will be using braiding hair color 30 and color 1B. Now because this is a coily crochet wig, we're going to be using the flexi rod to make our coils. Now the first thing to do is to place the hair just over the flexi rod and then you wrap around just like I am doing. Try using your thumb and index finger together to hold the hair very firmly while doing the wrapping to help derive tighter coils. When you're done prepping all the hair, the next thing to do is to get your hot water ready in a bowl and add conditioner. Next, place the hair in the hot water and leave for some minutes. After that, the next thing to do is to get your wig cap ready to install the hair on it, okay? Starting from the back, insert your crochet pin through 3 to 4 holes on the net, place the hair on the hook, lock and pull out through the other side, then pass the tail of the hair through the loop and stretch out.
over to the front so this wig is going to be a fringe hairstyle so the right thing to do is to install the hair at the front to fall towards the front if that makes sense I went ahead to draw some white lines on the crown to guide me on closing up the front. So you want to use this white line as a guide to install the hair in a circular direction if that makes sense. So this is just my personal tip okay. In case you want to make the same fringe hairstyle that white line would guide you to form a perfect fringe closing. So you're just what I'm basically doing is just installing the hair around like in a circular direction until the circle is closed up with hair. I am almost done at this point and have just this leftover space to cover up so I'm just going to go ahead to cover up that remaining space with hair. Go, go, go shawty! Yay! Our wig is ready to wear so I'm just going to go ahead to show you guys how to wear the wig. Like I mentioned earlier, I used a total of two packs for this wig and for the cutting, I cut each pack of braiding hair into a length of three. Now let's put a price to this wig, okay? So I have used two packs of hair for this wig. So let's say one pack of braiding hair costs $4. So that is four times two, that is $8. And then the wig cap costs $2. So that is $8 plus $2, that is $10 without the materials, the other materials that I have used. Adding the support materials, I have used pin, which is $1, mannequin table clamp, $18, flexi rod, $5, mousse, $4. So that is $28 plus the original cost of the week. That is a total of $38. Okay, so my actual spend for this week is $38. If you already have all of the other materials, then you can leave the cost of the wig at its original cost of $10, right? Do you also know that you can start a small wig making business? All you need to do for a start is to buy these materials and start making handmade wigs for women who need them, okay? All right, my darlings, let me know what you think about this one, okay? Do not forget to like this video, comment, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. See you!